Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Beards and Gear, we are going to check out a really crazy overdrive pedal called the Ridge from Kernom. So you guys know I'm an overdrive junkie, and there are a ton of different overdrive pedals on the market. However, uh, Kernum has come out with the Ridge Overdrive, and I've seen a couple of videos on this thing, and you know, I gotta say, <laughs> it, it does something, does a couple of different things, but it does one thing specifically that I have never seen nor heard of before. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Kernum has asked me to show you guys this pedal. However, all thoughts and opinions are still mine. Now, the Kernum Ridge is a chameleon of drive pedals. It can do literally anything. It can mimic any style of drive pedal, whether that's a uh, Analog Man, King of Tone, Marshall Bluesbreaker, which are the same pedals, by the way, um, a fuzz pedal, a uh, tube screamer, 808, anything you really want, anything in between any of those ranges of pedals, the Kernom uh, Ridge can do with the mood knob. And the mood knob, uh, the mood knob is where uh, all the craziness happens. So the mood knob contains something Kernom calls analog morphing, which is kind of an augmented analog switching or morphing of particular clipping stages, and they change in real time the threshold for those clipping stages, allowing it to be a fuzz, an overdrive, or anything you really want to do. And this is not digital. This is all analog in real time when you're turning the knob. Just think about that for a second. Now, if you have a favorite setting, you can save one preset on the preset foot switch or up to 128 presets via the supplied MIDI on the back. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and plug this thing into uh, one of my rectifiers. And uh, I don't know, let's get our palm mutes on, shall we? All right, now that we got the full mix out of the way, let's go ahead and go over some of the controls before we get into a little bit of a playthrough. I think all of these things that we're talking about with this pedal are going to best be shown on a playthrough as opposed to me just telling you about them. But I want to note that the pre-tone is really controlling the interaction between the guitar and the pedal, and the post-tone is controlling the interaction between the pedal and the amplifier downstream. And for cut control, you have the mid-range, and then obviously you have the volume and drive, okay? So there's not just a traditional tone control and a volume and a gain. You have lots of options. However, when I get to the mood, this will all be very clear once I actually do some turning, you know, strum a chord and turn the mood knob because it really drives home what is actually going on. And you're probably going to go, oh, like I did, all right? So I read all of the things and all of the nomenclature and all of the technical stuff. That all sounds fine and dandy. However, when you actually get to turning the mood, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. All right, so I'm going into the clean channel of my Soldano SLO 100. I have my 68 reissue Murphy Lab Gibson Les Paul Custom. My bass unaffected tone sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I want to do with the ridge is I'm going to turn this on to show you where I'm at, but then we are going to mess with the mood knob. And I'm just going to let you hear sonically what it's actually doing uh, using the clean channel.
All right, so I'm going to leave the drive at noon where I have it. Uh, we're going to mess with the pre-tone and the post-tone. Now, the pre-tone is going to uh, determine how the ridge interacts with my guitar, and the post-tone is going to con basically control how the pedal's interacting with the amplifier on the other side of the signal, right? So, pre-tone. <laughs> Now let's play with the post tone control. <laughs> Let's uh, let's dial in something uh, you know more stoner rock appropriate. Bass signal. The ridge. Let's dial it back a little bit. And I'm going to play with the mood. This is a cool kind of uh, just general rock tone, in my opinion. I like the balance between the pre and the post uh, tone controls. Now, if I went to my neck pickup, uh, I'd clean up pretty nicely if I did something like, you know, uh, didn't use my pick. Back to the bridge pickup. I like how full that sounds. It's really nice. Uh, let's do let's do more of a boosted thing. Let's go let's go drive all the way down. Use it as kind of a clean boost, and let's use the mood setting to kind of find where that point is.
that little bit more bite that it has right there I'm gonna put the mids back to noon bass tone Kurt on Ridge All right, so what do I think of the Kernom Ridge Overdrive? Um, you know, the addition of an expression pedal in that you can control any of these uh, controls, as well as the MIDI capability and being able to save a whole bunch of different presets is very, very cool. Uh, this pedal's pretty wild, <laughs> real talk. Um, I like the fact that it can do a clean boost, it can do a traditional overdrive, it can do a fuzz, it can do something really that I haven't seen in a pedal before. And it's rare that you get to see something absolutely fresh and new in the form of a drive pedal. I don't know. You just don't see that every day. And I thought this was really, really cool pedal. Also, built like a brick. I mean, if bricks were made out of solid aluminum, uh, I could probably drive my car over this, uh, over this thing and it would be just fine. When you pick this up, you instantly feel like, oh, okay. All right. I know the score in this pedal. This is a, uh, this is a tour ready pedal if I've ever seen one. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.